living in Los Angeles myself, in West Hollywood, California. And it was the old kind of old fashioned kind of test. It took it was a blood test, it took two weeks. He called me at home two weeks later, I remember exactly where I was standing. And he said, uh, Mark, I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, your test is uh, HIV positive. Um, maybe you can find a doctor somewhere. Good luck. What was what, what, what was the preview of the coming attractions of my life? I was seeing everywhere, and I was seeing people covered in lesions, disfigured, you know, in the waiting room at the doctor's office or in the grocery store if they had the guts to show up in person. Somewhere. I went to work for an organization called Shanti in, uh, in Los Angeles. It was the first AIDS organization uh, created in LA. Our mission was to help the dying die with dignity. We trained volunteers to be with people who were sick with AIDS. We had a, a support group uh, in the office for those of us on staff who were living with HIV. There were eight of us. And everybody in that group died. I, literally, I was the last one. We need addition back into our lives. We need to find things that lift us up and make us feel good about ourselves. We need to find community that says, we love you. Whether it be other LGBTQ people, whether it be our families or allies, we want them all, we want them on the street, and we want them together saying, yes, you're okay. I want that mom walking down the street with a sign that says, I love my son. We need it. Why do we have it? Because we need it. We need it. We didn't grow up with positive messages with same-sex couples. We didn't grow up with that. We need it. And we have a lot to be proud of when it comes to HIV and AIDS. By and large, every single initiative, organization, program, institute that came out of that time was founded and created by gay men, other LGBT people, and our allies. Every single one of them. We created food programs so people wouldn't starve to death. We created housing programs because people needed a place to live because, you know, they got kicked out of other ones. We did prevention programs and all of these national organizations here, governmental and otherwise, were created by us. By those of us who were dealing in the, with, with hatred and resistance and, and people telling us to we're going to hell and wanting to put us on islands and all of that. In the face of all of those barriers, we built and we loved. And that's a lot to be proud of. And I want to say to you, if you are LGBTQ, you come from a proud, courageous, innovative lineage of people. You should be proud. There is so much to be proud of. Of, because this is our lineage, this is, this is our people, this is what we did in the face of people not, not, not helping much, you know? That's something to be proud of. I, I, I celebrate this.